<clears throat> Good morning, YouTube. This is man George Page coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, it's been a while since the um, UFC 238, where which uh, you know um, Valentina the Bullet Shashinko retained her title as the UFC's flyweight women's champion. As y'all know, uh, Jessica Footface Black Eye got put to sleep. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's laid out on a crucifix. Damn. Damn, Gina. Anyway, I want to congratulate the bullet on um, her success and uh, being uh, the undisputed champion. I think right now there's nobody who's going to be able to, you know, get past her. Then, um, I don't know, maybe... If they create a super soldier, you know, to fight uh, Valentina, but Valentina is an assassin. She is, she's a, she's a, a sniper. I mean, I saw in a, a press conference how uh, this guy was wearing a blue vest, but let me tell you something. A uh, blue vest doesn't protect yourself from headshots, and that was a headshot right here. I'm telling you, I love this, this meme. Found it on the internet. I said to my man, Coach Seton Hills, give me a shout out for it. So shout out back to you, Coach. You know, it's like something out of uh, Mortal Kombat. You know, see uh, Mario Yamasaki popping up by that, that guy. Remember in Mortal Kombat 2? The guy popping says, Oopsie! Yeah. yeah, we all know Mario was there when uh, Valentina pretty much killed, uh, well, massacred uh, Brasilia Cacciera. Yeah. And we all know Mario's nickname. Mario, if she dies, she dies more sake. But Jessica, you know, no hard feelings. You know, she's doing all right. I saw she was on Twitter. She said she's doing fine. But more likely she's going to be sitting on um, concussion uh, protocols for the next six months because that head kick really, not just the getting kicked in the head, but the, the fall, that really jars the, uh, the brain. So, you know, best of luck for her. You know, I, I, sh I don't wish death for anybody, but I do wish it will on her because her comment should be about Derek Lewis, you know. And for you fanboys out there, I know y'all cry in the car because you saw your girl get beat. And that's the problem is when people don't like somebody, especially a, a great fighter like Valentina, they jump on the bandwagon on somebody else. Like with uh, people didn't like Cyborg, but they jump on Amanda Nunes bandwagon. But, you know, even now that Amanda Nunes beat Cyborg, you don't like her now. You see people ready to see Holly Holm beat Amanda Nunez. And I hate to say this, Holly's not going to pass Amanda. I think only person that could probably beat Amanda is when her and Cyborg had just had a rematch. I think that's where Cyborg would beat her. I mean, Cyborg has superior stamina, better gas tank. If she takes the, the fight past the three rounds, I think you know, Amanda Nunez is going to put out real quick. But... Right now, who's on the shelf for for Valentina to face? Who's ready to take the bullet? Well, there's a couple of fighters possibly. Uh, one big name would be uh, Liz Carmouche, who has, who's only the one of the one of few fighters outside of Amanda Nunes that has a win over uh, over Valentina. There's also, uh, you know, uh, my man BJ. Uh, he's talking about uh, Montana Del Rosa. That's not gonna happen. I'm sorry, Montana. No, no. And BJ, I'm telling you for Montana is uh, a project for Dana White, and, uh, and people people don't want to the truth, truth, but he's telling her behind the behind the scenes because she's young, she's married, she just got married a uh, a while back, and she has a child already. He's telling her don't get pregnant, don't get pregnant, because you know once she gets pregnant, it's over. 